OK, Darkroom's new green screen algorithm. Does it actually work? Well, we're shortly going to find out. I've created a test border, which I use so I can see the colours easy and for no other purpose than that. Even better when I can extract it. So, And what you'll see is the reds coming through on the surfboard. Now, this is my test image. This is exactly what I expect to have very poor quality extraction. Um, so let's just go in to drop out and there's a number of things we can do we can try the adjustments down here but just to show you the new tools if I click on up here it comes in and I have a choice on the top left here keep or drop out so I can add things in or I can change them out and then there's some bits over on the other side here the shapes and brushes that I can use for retouching. So I'm just going to increase that brush size a bit. And I'm going to paint in. And you can actually see the checkerboard effect going away underneath. But if that's not clear, I can actually change the background for something that is totally outside the colour scope. And this is just for doing the green screen. And you can see I can just paint over and you actually see how green that really was. Now supposing I go off at a tangent and I've actually got some extra there I can go back into dropout and I can add the dropout in and just get rid of it. So that's one way of changing it but actually that would be quite long winded if we had to do it for every images. So I'm just going to cancel the retouches back to there um, but the power of the new one is the algorithm has changed ever so much and I'm just changing down this remove colour and at that point there I've got to say it's dropped it out perfectly for me and what I could do if I wanted to remove the shadow on there just by going back into the workshop but that's all I wanted to show just how simple and easy the green screen extraction is and what a fantastically improved job it does and I would say have fun with the retouching tools where you need them.